Hi, I'm Christy. And I'm Noor. And I'm Sarah. And I'm Renee. And I'm Linda, and we are Team 3, and this is the information we would give to our patients about our product, Superlysine. A virus can be looked at as the type of germ which is extremely small, and when they get inside your body, they can make you sick. Viruses can cause illnesses such as herpes, colds, chickenpox, measles, and the flu. Unfortunately, antibiotics don't work on viruses like they do on bacteria. Advice that I can give to avoid catching a virus consists of washing your hands often, especially prior to and after eating and using the restroom. For a virus like herpes, you would also want to avoid kissing, touching an affected person's skin, along with sharing silverware, chapstick, and drinks with those individuals. There are two types of herpes simplex virus, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 usually infects cells that are around the mouth causing cold sores. Both type 1 and 2 are members of the herpes virus family and are considered a double-stranded DNA virus that replicate in the same way. When someone is infected with a herpes simplex virus, the viral cells join with cells of the infected individual. This causes the release of information needed for the virus to make copies of itself. This information goes to the nucleus of the infected individual's cells. The nucleus is where a cell makes DNA so that more cells can be made. Once the viral information makes it to the nucleus, different types of genes, proteins, and other particles are made and work together to make material for a new virus. This new viral material buds out of the nucleus. Another part of the infected individual cell is the endoplasmic reticulum. This is where the new viral material travels to next. The viral cell gets an envelope surrounding it for protection and then escapes the cell of the infected individual. The new viral cell travels to nerve cells nearby in the infected person. It can cause outbreaks like cold sores right away or it can wait in the cells and cause a cold sore later on. Having herpes could present symptoms like cold sores. Superlysine is over-the-counter medication used to treat cold sores. You can find superlysine in both oral supplement and topical application creams. Superlysine contains the amino acid lysine. Amino acids are necessary for our bodies to make proteins. However, our bodies cannot make lysine. We obtain lysine from food and supplements. Arginine is an amino acid that does not require a supplement because our bodies produce it. Arginine is needed by the herpes virus to reproduce. Lysine and arginine work against each other, which results in lysine reducing arginine effects. Supposedly, this relationship may be beneficial for people who suffer from frequent herpes outbreaks, such as cold sores. If you would like to try an over-the-counter product, we recommend Super Lysine. Studies show it is possibly effective for outbreaks. The product is cheap, has few side effects, could save a doctor's visit, is safe for most, and although it will not cure herpes, it may help prevent and or reduce the number of outbreaks. Thank you for listening and learning about super lysine and how it affects the herpes simplex virus. Bye! Bye. Created using Powtoon.